I want to develop a horror game, and for that I need fog to create a thick immersive atmosphere. The best fog I've seen in a video game so far is in the Silent Hill 2 remake, and I want something like that for my game. So in this video we are going to explore different ways to create fog in games and find the one that I can actually implement in my project. Let's begin! First, let's look at the easiest way to add fog in Unity. In the lighting window, there is a checkbox that says Fog. If we turn it on, we get this. Models in this scene now have a shading effect, where the density depends on their distance from the camera. It looks nice and adds some atmosphere to the scene, but the problem is, it doesn't feel alive. There's no movement, no shifting clouds. It's just like we painted everything in grey. Well, that's not enough. Now let's take a look at the Silent Hill 2 remake. This fog looks and behaves really cool. It spreads over objects and light rays pass through it, just like real fog. So, what is it and how does it work? As I understand it, this is called volumetric fog. Here's how it works. The camera plays a key role, since the fog is rendered based on what it sees. To achieve this, the game engine generates a depth buffer, which acts like a map showing how far objects are from the camera. This helps the fog blend naturally into the scene, becoming denser with distance. The engine also uses ray marching, a technique that traces light step by step as it moves through the fog. This creates realistic depth, softened edges, and produces those famous god rays that make the fog feel truly alive. As a technology, it's awesome. But there are two big problems. First, performance. You can easily find performance tests of the Silent Hill 2 remake, and from those videos you will see that this fog is an absolute FPS killer. Second, it's really hard to make. I watched at least 5 different tutorials on how to create this effect with shader graph and unlit shaders. I asked ChatGPT, read Unity's documentation and spent about a week on this. And the best I could get was this. I mean, it's better than just shading, but it's nowhere near the remake, right? So I got tilted. Then I remember the original Silent Hill 2. The fog there didn't just look great, it was actually used as an optimization trick to work around console limitations. It shouldn't be hard to create something like that. After all, the game came out 24 years ago? Oh my god, I'm old. So I went back and studied gameplay footage to deconstruct the effect. The first thing I noticed, the field of view is really small, like just a few meters around the character. The second thing, there are kinda two layers of fog, one in front of the camera and another in front of the character. I think this helped the player feel more connected to the character, because it's created the illusion that the fog is wrapping around James. To limit the field of view, we could just increase fog density or, much simpler trick, lower the camera's clipping plane in Unity. To create the fog itself, I used a particle system, actually two with different densities. Essentially, we are just spawning a bunch of 2D cloud-like textures that moves around, fade in and out, and overlap to create the illusion of fog. The constant movement and layering make it feel dynamic and natural, even though it's just flat images floating in space. Eventually, I ended up with this. I think this fog looks much better than the previous two, so I'll stick with this one. But if you think the other options were better, let me know in the comments, I'd love to hear your thoughts. That's it for today, thanks for watching.